guys, let's do this. Hey loves, welcome back. Today is episode eight of Tea with Brie. Where has the time gone? And not just with our time together, but time itself. I am seven years into topical steroid withdrawal. This is past the time frame that even the beloved Dr. Rappaport says is possible. But here I am. Cheers to that. This past year, 365 days, has felt so long and difficult. I've dealt with symptoms that I haven't experienced since the first two years of my withdrawal. And I know I am not alone in the long hauling, the U-hauling, the cross-country version of TSW. It does not, no matter what anyone says, get easier with time. It becomes more of a mental battle than a physical one. Even if the physical is still bad, our mind plays games with us. It tells us we're not doing the right things. It tells us that it must be our fault that we're still sick. It plagues us with guilt, shame, anger, envy, grief. Every loss-filled emotion imaginable, we've felt it. TSW can feel like a death has occurred, our death. So because this past year has felt so taxing physically and emotionally, I sought out help. I wanted someone to lean on professionally, not just the community. Because truth be told, some of our private groups can be just as triggering as real life. Even though there is so much love and encouragement in those groups, there are also really divisive opinions and impulsive actions taken in there. It's not the perfect space for mental healing, but seeking out a professional can be a game changer. I know it has been for me. Even though I feel like a very self-aware person, having a therapist there to dig out those triggering topics is really necessary for true healing. Because being aware is one thing, but when you have a partner there giving you tools and encouragement towards becoming a more functional human being, that's completely different. Therapists aren't there to tell you what you're doing wrong. They are there to help you improve upon the things that you're struggling with. You are paying them. They want to help you. My therapist and I are working on a few things, but one of the major ones is anger and hydration. Keep sipping. She asked me in our last session why I wanted to work on anger since because in our sessions it's not an external issue that she sees. I very much try to live my life with gratitude and joy and share positivity and have the cup half full. But when you see years passing by, relationships falling apart during tough moments of flares, careers being destroyed, having to go through plan B, C, and D, you can get angry. There are moments when I get really, really mad at TSW for doing this to me and really, really mad at the medical community for not supporting me when I needed them most. It's a natural emotion to feel. However, it isn't helpful or constructive or even kind to my nervous system. One of the best perspectives my therapist gave me was to think of TSW as my friend, not my foe. Even better, to think of TSW as my child. You wouldn't feel guilty calling out of work if your child was sick. You wouldn't be upset at your child if they needed you during really hard moments. Now, that is not to say that TSW caregivers don't go through massive trials and hurdles, but this was just a way to simplify how to look at TSW, to shift the mindset of how we speak to ourselves. I still have a ways to go in speaking to myself with more compassion, but that's why they call it a journey. It's baby steps. I also have a really difficult time recognizing the wins in my life since I tend to have the traumatic response of thinking I always must be accomplishing something to feel worthy of love. Rest is the absolute worst thing I could ever think of doing for myself, yet that's the best thing to do for healing. I now have a win jar that I contribute to every single night. I write down every single win of the day, even if it's a very small win, like getting all my dishes washed. With the very low energy I have some days, that can actually feel like a big win. I also have an idea that I really love that was actually given by one of you subscribers. One woman says she has a did it anyway list, where despite her TSW, she did it anyway. That's such a fantastic way to celebrate yourself. And we should keep the perspective of doing things despite TSW, not 
in spite of TSW. I know I operate a lot from the in spite of TSW category, which is detrimental to my healing. I need to treat it like a respectful peer, not a bully that I always have to be up against. And so should you. We go through so much. Kindness is salient in our forward progress. So speak kindly to yourself and to your TSW. Reach out for help, be it by yourself or with your partner, if you feel the ground beneath you shaking. Don't wait for it to collapse. I love you all. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Until next time. All right, lovelies. Oh, it feels like forever since I've shot one of these because it's been about two weeks since I shot the last two together. I have two big things I want to talk about really quick before I head off. I have a big day ahead. One, actually, do you like my Chewbacca cup? Isn't it so cute? Oh! Anyway, so one of the things I want to talk about is I have giveaways still going on on my Insta. You guys, you don't even have to follow me. It is not about follows or popularity or whatever. I just want to give you things. So come, come to my Insta, enter the giveaways and get some free stuff, y'all. But also, if you're wanting to pay it forward, on my sixth giveaway, I'm going to be giving away cash to someone. So if anyone wants to contribute to that big chunk of money that I would like to give away, you can go to my preventable PayPal account. The other thing I want to talk about is the new Cut Focus film, My Life During Topical Steroid Withdrawal. Oh my gosh, guys, please go watch this. Have your caregivers watch this. Have your family watch this. Have your friends watch this. I believe it's 14 minutes long. It is powerful. It is moving. Thank you, Cut Focus. Thank you, Sussy, for doing that. That took a lot of vulnerability. So amazing, amazing job. You guys, please go watch it. I'll put a link. Uh, below in the description box for you. I love you guys. Go watch Skin on Fire. Go watch My Life During Topical Steroid Withdrawal. Go watch my preventable documentary. There are so many resources out there now, guys. It is nuts. I love it. And I hope it continues until we get this thing out there, heard by doctors, so that this can be prevented. That's right. Mwah. Love you guys.